Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. I thought I would look at another Jim Serrett painting. I'm going to look at some of his work this week. I came across Jim's work by doing a search on the harmonic armature. And I noticed that he shares out Thomas Kegler's PDFs as well. They're fantastic PDFs. They're only three or four pages each. But it's enough to get the artist started in using real design. You don't need a thousand lines on a composition to make it work. And in fact, I think it's just the opposite. If you come from the barnstone mentality, which I did years ago, it gives the impression that the artist has to drop down hundreds of lines to analyze a work of art. There is no truth to that at all. So what I want to demonstrate today is that you only need a few lines off the main armature to plot divisions to create a work of art. A design can be rather simple or it can be more complex. It's up to the artist how they want to design their work. And keeping it simple at times is very effective. So let me show you what Jim is doing in this composition. And I'll drop down the harmonic armature. I really do love Jim's work. It's fantastic. And when I drop down just the two main diagonal lines, right away you can see he's following the diagonal lines in the clouds. He's already locking in this diagonal here as well as this diagonal line here. And one thing that I've learned by analyzing work using the Barnstone methods and the harmonic armature, when you analyze using dynamic symmetry, you have to break it down to a point where there's so many lines on the study, it doesn't make any sense anymore. With the harmonic armature, if you're on the right track, you'll see things lock into place very quickly. And once you find a few lines that fall into place, it's much easier to continue on with your study and find more divisions. And in my new user's guide, I don't recommend that artists use dynamic symmetry to analyze art because it's just not an accurate way to study this information and unless you're unless you know the artist is specifically working in dynamic symmetry then it becomes a little bit more user user friendly but i i am not convinced it's interesting because myron made it seem like all artists are using dynamic symmetry and they don't and the more i analyze work using the harmonic armature i I, I'm not convinced of that at all. You can't just match up do, you know, dominant diagonal lines and make it work. Very rarely does that even work. And I, I just, I found it so frustrating. I talk about it a lot now because the more analyzations that I do, the more I'm realizing that that was just the wrong road to go down. But... Hopefully my frustrations and my failures will help those that are coming to my website not make the same mistakes that I did. All right, so I had mentioned that you only need a few lines to create an effective composition, and this is going to be a very short video today. You have a horizontal line right here where this series of diagonal lines intersects, and it gives you this horizontal line right there, and I'll bring it to, I'll bring it to about right there. If I drop a vertical at this uh, two-thirds division, I believe it's right here, and drive the vertical down, I can find another horizontal division right here where that vertical meets that diagonal line, and it's right there. And then when I bring that over here, where it intersects with this diagonal line, I now have a horizontal. So I've locked in this area right here with just a few lines, and then here's the other horizontal that locks that in only a few lines and then from that point I can just find a few more areas where the artist is locking in the top of the trees there and I'll just bring this up because you have that division there but that's all I'm going to drop today you do have one more right here though let me just place this right there because you're getting the top of that area there and then I believe I could drop another one right here so with just those few lines 
derived from the basic harmonic armature, I've locked this subject in a place. I've locked the composition in a place. It doesn't require a lot of lines or a lot of divisions to create dominant divisions in your design. And this is a fantastic painting, and this demonstrates this clearly. So my recommendation is download a few of Jim's paintings and drop the harmonic armature on it to see what you can find. I think you'll be impressed. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, as always.